If you're looking for a fun and reliable adaptation of The Importance of Being Earnest, absolutely the 1952 version directed and written, uh, well adapted by Anthony Asquith, is the one to go for. This is obviously based on the play by Oscar Wilde, and I'll say that the film is, you know, is very similar. Um, I'm not aware of any major differences. When I watched it, I didn't have the play to hand, but I had relatively recently read the play before that, so it was still kind of fresh in my mind. And for me, watching it as a fan of the actual script, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So if you're not aware of what this is about, I will read the description from IMDb. And this says, When Algernon discovers that his friend Ernest has created a fictional brother for whenever he needs a reason to escape dull country life, Algernon poses as a brother, resulting in ever-increasing confusion. Yeah, you're right to be confused. It is meant to boggle the mind and the characters are confused all the time. The characters who are creating the confusions often feel confused and that results in a lot of brilliant comedy. There's an element where it's almost farcical where somebody says something and somebody else doesn't know what they mean and they reply but then that just further confuses the other person. I love a good Bunbury. I love a Bunburyist and I have to say Jack Worthing and Algernon Moncrief in this are really brilliant. So Ernest is played by Michael Redgrave and Moncrief is played by Michael Dennison. Lady Augusta Bracknell is Edith Evans and I really like her performance in this one. Same with Joan Greenwood as Gwendolyn. Um, I really cannot fault any of the casting to me. They are exactly what I would have had in my head. Unfortunately, um, when I read the, th- the, the book, the version I read had um, some cover art with some you know, people on it. And that's kind of the image that was in my head. But aside from that, these are very striking and very pleased with the casting. The delivery of the lines, the humour, the comedy style, spot on. Oscar Wilde's words are just beautiful. It's it's great fun. You will thoroughly enjoy this. It was actually nominated for the Best Promising Newcomer to Film BAFTA, which is, never mind, um, nominated for Dorothy Tutin, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. I almost certainly have not, um, but she played Cecily. Really brilliant. Do you have need to read the play? No, not at all. Absolutely not at all. Do I think you should read the play first? It's up to you. I personally would. I, I think I've mentioned this before. I love to watch things that I've just read, but if I've just watched something, it's rare that I will then read the book. I think the exceptions are Harry Potter and, more recently, The Girl on the Train. I watched the film, then read the book. But I prefer to do it the other way on it. I certainly recommend it, because then you can see how the director of the film has interpreted certain scenes, certain characters, or the enunciations within certain lines, and see if it you know mirrors what was in your head or what you would have done differently. Certainly that would be my recommendation. It's a brilliant story, a great cast, wonderful delivery. And an absolute joy. It is a real treat. If you haven't seen it, regardless of your taste in film, I'd say give it a watch. I guarantee that there's going to be at least something in it for you. The importance of being earnest is a lot of fun.